Hello and welcome to this video on the area of compound shapes. And by compound shapes, I just mean that we're either combining shapes together or that we're starting with a shape and cutting a shape out of it. So if we look at these examples here that we're going to solve, now the best way to think about this is imagining you have some cookie dough and you're trying to make a cookie and you've kind of rolled out your pastry and you want to make the particular shape. How would you make that shape? So let's just say that I wanted to make this shape here well, what I would do is I would start with a square piece of pastry. I would cut out the circle out the middle bit of the pastry. So I'm just left with the corners around the edge. And then I only want one of those four corners so I could just split the remaining bits into four. And we can do the same thing when we're doing our calculation for area. What about making this shape here, this triangle here? Well, it could be that I started with a rectangular piece of pastry and then I cut out that triangle from the corner, cut out that triangle from the corner, and cut out that triangle from the corner. I'm left with that triangle in the middle. What about this piece of pastry? Well, I could start with a rectangular piece of pastry and then add a triangular piece of pastry on the top. So I'm going to add the two areas together in that case. And the same here. I could start with a rectangular piece of pastry and add a half circle piece of pastry on the top. So let's use that to solve these problems. So we want to find this shaded area. As I said earlier, it's best to start with the area of the square. So it's going to be the area of the square, which is 10 times 10. So 10 squared. And then we're going to subtract. We're going to cut out, I subtract, the area of the circle in the middle. So I'm going to subtract the area of this circle, which is pi times the radius squared. Remember, pi r squared. Now, if that width all the way across is 10, then the radius is going to be half of that, which is 5. We're subtracting pi times r squared, the area of the circle. And then if we start with a square, cut out the circle, we're left with the four corner bits. But we only want one of those four corners, so we're going to divide that by four to get that shaded area there. Now, if we do all of that on our calculator, so 100 minus pi times 5 squared, you don't actually need the brackets because of bidmus, and then divide that result by four, we get 5.37 centimetres squared to three significant figures. Right, what about the second problem? Now the easiest way to solve this problem is to start with the area of the rectangle and just cut out the triangles around this middle triangle here. So if I just draw it out again so we can draw some lengths on it. Well, this length is 10 and that's 2. So that bottom length is 10 plus 2 which is 12. That length is 5 and that length is 3. So this length is 5 plus 3 which is 8. And then let's just find the area of each of the things. So we could start with the area of the rectangle. So the rectangle area is 8 times 12, which is 96. And then let's find the area of each of these triangles around this central triangle here. Well, this triangle here, well, we do half times base times height. So you just do half times 8 times 10, which is equal to 40. So that area is 40. This area here is going to be half times base times height, so half times 12 times 3, which is equal to 18. And this area here is half times 2 times 5, which equals to 5. So that means the shaded area is just going to be, well, we start with a rectangle, 96. We cut out this triangle, which is 40 area. Then we cut out this triangle, which has an area of 18, and cut out this triangle, which has an area of 5. And we do that all on our calculator. And we get 33, and the unit is going to be centimetres squared. Now, question 3, this is a bit harder, because we actually have to use Pythagoras' theorem. So if I just draw it out again, and we have, that's 15 centimetres, 24, 15, 13, and 13. Now, the easiest way to find the area of this is to just cut it like this, and then we've got this rectangle here, and we've got this triangle here. So the area of the rectangle is relatively easy. All we need to do is just 15 times 24, which is 360 uh, centimetres squared. 
But this triangle is harder because although we know the base is 24, that's 24, isn't it? We don't know the perpendicular height of the triangle. Because do you remember the area of a triangle is half times base times perpendicular height? This 13 here is not the height of the triangle. And the easiest way to find the area of an isosceles triangle like this is to split it in half. So then we know, well, this length here is just half of that. Well, that's 24, so that's half of it, which is 12. And that allows us to find the height because we have two of the sides of a right angle triangle. So if I just make that H, I can say, well, the shortest side squared, one of the shorter sides squared, so 12 squared, plus the other shorter side squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. So that's 144 plus h squared equals 169. We just subtract the 144 to get 25. And then h is just the square root of 25 to undo that squared, which is 5. So we now know that h is 5. And that means the area of the whole triangle at the top, this whole thing here, so it's half times the base, which is 24, times by the height, which is 5. And that gives us 60. So the total area is equal to the 60, the triangle at the top, plus the rectangle at the bottom, the 360. And that is equal to 420. And the unit was, I missed out the unit there, centimetres squared. Now we've finally got this problem here. We've got this funny shaped garden here. Um, and we want to put some turf over that garden. And we're told that each 15 metres squared of turf costs £6.75. That's pretty cheap. Uh, what is the total cost to turf the garden? Well, we need to find the total area first. So we've got this rectangle here. So we can just do 12.4 times 4.7. And that is equal to 58.28 metres squared. And now we need to find the area of the semicircle and add it on to this area here. So let's note that the radius of this semicircle is half of that. Half of 12.4 is 6.2. So the area of the semicircle is equal to, well, pi r squared, so pi times the radius squared. Well, that's the area of a full circle, pi r squared, but we only want half a circle, so we're going to divide that by 2. So if we do that, pi times 6.2 squared divided by 2, and we get 60.38 metres squared. Don't round your value too much because we still have further calculations to do. And so that means the total area, if we add those together, is 118.66 metres squared. Now it says that each 15 metres squared of turf costs £6.75. So how many lots of 15 metres squared do we need? Well, we can just divide 118.66 by 15, and that tells us how many 15s go into 118, and therefore how many lots of turf we need to buy. And that gives us 7.91 lots of turf. Now, you can't buy a fractional amount of turf, so to have enough turf, you're going to have to buy eight lots of turf. So you, can always, so you always need to round up there when you're buying stuff. And then if we have eight lots of turf, we just need to do eight. So we want to find the total cost of turf. We just do eight lots of turf multiplied by the cost of each lot of turf. And that gives us 54 pounds. And that is the final answer.